Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth here at Lizzie Loves Life, and today I'm going to do a toddler haul or Amazon toddler must haves. A lot of these I have purchased since January. I have not done an Amazon haul like I normally do here on my channel this year so far. So I figured what I would do was combine all of the toddler things that I have picked up over the past couple months, share with you guys what they are and if I would recommend them. A lot of these are definitely recommends. I have a three-year-old son who turned three in March. So a couple of these were birthday gifts, things like that. But I do have some practical things as well. So if you're interested in seeing my toddler must-haves Amazon haul, then keep watching. So I'm just gonna go to my past orders and look at those so I don't miss anything. Not everything I could actually bring with me. First thing is we switched him to a toddler bed, but it's still kind of the crib size. So I have some sheets now. He was using still his like baby blankets, things like that, but then I realized he needed to be tucked in at night. Something he was definitely wanting more was bigger blankets to be tucked in. So I found these sheets right here and they are like train sets. So it comes with the fitted sheet, the like top sheet, and then a pillowcase. For us though, we have been using this for a long time. These are toddler pillows. Now it's sold separately than the pillowcase, but toddler pillows, I purchased mine on Amazon. I do have a backup that I did purchase this year as well. It is a smaller size than like your giant pillows. I feel like the giant pillows with Jackson, he's just not ready for that step yet, especially since He's still in the crib or toddler bed phase of his life. So I did purchase another one and you can get these cute little toddler pillowcases. These are animals. And then I also have ones that are dinosaur as well. So the pillows are definitely a lot smaller than like your normal size, which is something I felt comfortable with for my toddler. We did try bigger pillows, but that one is best. With that too, I purchased some Paw Patrol like comforters. So this comes with the top sheet, the bottom fitted sheet, a comforter, and I think one or two pillowcases. So it's a nice set, but we don't use pillowcases. I will save that for another time when we are ready for those. But yes, new bedding was something that Jackson really needed. Moving from there is when we found out we are expecting baby number two. So a couple things that I did pick up was this book right here. It's called I Am a Big Brother. This is by Caroline, Caroline Jane Church. Super cute. She has a whole bunch of other books in her series. Basically talks about getting ready for your baby and then how you, they can help with the baby, things like that. So a good kind of big brother book. They also have I Am A Big Sister as well. Also got two big brother shirts. One is super cute. It says like I'm digging being a big brother with a dump truck or excavator. I can't tell the difference. My son can though. So I got that and then just the classic big brother gray shirt with the white lettering. I got that as well. So the next thing that's actually in my car, I'll show you guys the video right here, are two car cargo trunks. Like they're like little trunk bins and they are foldable. One is the gray one with the dots on it. That one is actually leak proof and lined, waterproof lined. So what I use that for, both of these are always in my car at all times. The lined one I will throw in his muddy shoes, his rain boots, rain jacket, all that kind of stuff. Anything that will get wet and when you're leaving a playground, things like that, you just kind of want to throw in your car and go home, put in there. That would also be really great too if you go to the pool, want to change them real quick or the lake, just throw the clothes in there. And then the other one is definitely bigger and I store extra hats, umbrellas. We had winter jackets in there, like random things you may need for outside while you're on the go, change of clothes. All of that is in there. I also st store my Lysol wipes in there because we do have a car potty as well. So I liked those because it kind of combined everything before I just kind of threw it all in my trunk and prayed for the best. This definitely keeps it a little more organized. So one activity we have a love doing are playing with these schools, the, I think, or they're called schools, rainbow bears. So what I wanted to do with them more was get these learning resources helping tools. So there are different kind of clamps and things that they can pick up the tools. You can also use this. We have, and I just purchased 
a huge bag of sea animals. So with those, we've been playing with our sea animals a lot. So this is a huge pack of sea animals that you can get on Amazon. And they kind of are pretty realistic. They're not super, what is it called, like cartoony. They're pretty Montessori approved realistic. What we do with this, sometimes I will put it in a bin with water, some colored dye and soap, and he will use the tools to get them out. You can even freeze these in ice cubes and have him save or have your toddler save them. You can also, what I've done is wrap them in pipe cleaners and they have to use their motor skills to take the animals out of the pipe cleaners. He has been loving this. This is one of the things he loves to do. Really good independent play as well. So pick up some little sea animals like this. And it's really fun. You can play it with a sandbox, what have you. Just a fun activity. The next thing here are our child safety door locks. Now we have these all over the house. I definitely wanted to add a couple more my son was getting adventurous in some places. I wanted to lock our master bedroom, things like that. So these are literally all over their house. So these are if you have door handles and they go have like a command strip on the back. Really easy to apply. You just push the buttons to open and close them. And they're kind of my lifesaver, especially for like the playroom closet, things like that. These are really good, I highly recommend. So this next thing here is actually a game and it's super fun. Comes with a dice that is either in his belly right now or not, but there are a whole bunch in his back when you pour it out and you're ready for the game. A whole bunch of little hamburgers and the dice has what color you're supposed to pick up or you lose a turn. So all of the hamburgers are color sized up on the table, ground, however you want to play. And then there's a number. So this is number three. So you would hit the pig on the head three times. One, two, three and his belly expands. And this is really great for color recognition and number recognition. It just goes one to four, no more than that. So you actually put the little hamburger in his mouth and that's when you push it. So when the winner of the game is whoever pops the pig. So you continue doing this, his belly will fill up and then his arms will fly in the air, he'll have this really big belly and they are the winner of the game. This has been Super fun and also comes with a puzzle that my son has been playing with and can do it in like two seconds now. So highly recommend this if you have a toddler. This is a really fun game to teach taking turns, color recognition, numbers, and it's, I, this is like my favorite game to play with him right now. The next thing I got is health related. We had a head thermometer that I felt like was running hot. like. It kept making us feel like we had fevers. So I found this one on Amazon. This is the Eye Health Thermometer, and it is the infrared no touch forehead thermometer. So I really like this, and it has definitely been like four, seven, four to seven degrees different than the one that really wasn't working. This one has been pretty consistent, but it doesn't have any noises, and it still shows up pretty well. So I'm, I guess, slightly running hot. 98.9, it's still a normal temperature. Just got my COVID vaccine yesterday. Sore arm, but yeah. So that's that. I wanted to get a new thermometer for us to keep track of where we're at right now. The next thing here is something I love to put in our busy bags. Busy bags are something that you can take to a restaurant, in the car, or if you need a quiet activity for your toddler. So I take this a lot to church when we go to church on Sundays. But these are the Melissa and Doug puffy sticker books. They come in a set of three. There's like a dinosaur, pirates, I think construction one. We have had a blast with these. The stickiness remain sticky so these are really great to constantly keep reusing. What I love doing with my toddler as well is when he is done using it and making his little picture you need to put it back on that clear sheet for us to do a new activity so that way it's not already staged in a picture for him when he uses it next time he can create whatever he wants and it just is a little extra time so those are really nice and then we have been potty training since I guess last summer and a lot of the potties that we're using are like the little potties but now he's definitely trying to use the bigger potty more but with that i have to kind of help him pick him up and that kind of stuff so i found this this is mango hood potty training 
toilet seat and it has a ladder to it. What I love most about this is it does not move. I have a couple of friends who just recommend doing like the toddler step stool, but those can move. I feel like that was gonna be a little dangerous for me and Jackson were kind of accident prone. So this is very easy to kind of set up and it sits on the potty. You kind of have to have the toilet seat up and it sits on the potty, it's really, really stable. They can t climb up, turn themselves around and sit on the potty that way. Also kind of has that little lip for boys so they don't pee straight out if you know what I'm talking about. So highly recommend this if you have a bathroom that they use majority of the time. This is in my son's bathroom. We do have the like attachment for the potty seat for the little potty downstairs. That So he has a little potty but if he has to go poop then we just kind of pick him up for that one. So that's kind of how we have been doing potty training. It's been working out pretty well. So check those out. I'll leave all of the potty stuff down below. This was also around the time for his birthday party. So we did something very easy outside, just went to a playground. I got a couple of these party dress up like construction worker outfits, which was super cute. I will say the helmets are really plastic and lightweight flimsy, so the wind will sweep them away. Kids still had a really good time. And then here's the construction birthday party kind of kit that I got um, if you're interested. Another big item we purchased for his birthday, but we have not given it to him yet. His birthday, he got a ton of stuff from friends and family. And we are trying to save it for like a rainy day, but we got him the Little Tykes Jump and Slide Bouncer. I have a lot of friends who have used it in the past and they recommend using it inside for a rainy day. So it is in our garage. I will let you guys know when we bust that out. But that is a birthday gift that is just waiting for a couple rainy days. Another thing, my son loves books. So we definitely purchased a couple of books. Since then, one is one of the noisy books. I keep these only in the playroom, not allowed at bedtime in, in his room, but this is the PJ Masks Look and Find book. Has a bunch of things that he's interested in. One, PJ Masks. Two, Buttons with Noises. Three, Look and Find. Look and Find books are my son's favorite thing to do because they'll have the little pictures down below and then you have to find it in the picture. I've had a couple of these in the past. There's like a Lion King, Mickey Mouse one, an Elmo one. I will put all those down below. Really good for toddlers. You just say, where's the bike? And they find the bike. So really good for them to kind of be interactive with books. And this is a really nice one. Keep it in the playroom though. Another book I have here is a birthday book. This is the Puppy Birthday to You Paw Patrol. And I just had to pick it up. It was his birthday. I was doing the first two years like have people sign it for his birthday party, but with COVID and missing a year, it kind of went off. So I still purchase a birthday book though for him every year. For St. Patrick's Day, love doing books for every holiday. If you haven't seen a couple of my, I did like a Halloween books video, Christmas books video. I haven't done like Easter's St. Patrick's Day yet. But for St. Patrick's Day, I do recommend this book. We were really obsessed with it. This is How to Catch a Leprechaun. And it is super cute because there's a leprechaun running through the book. And all these kids are trying to catch the leprechaun in different ways. And basically on every page, he's trying to find where the leprechaun is and the different tricks and stuff that they're doing. So he keeps trying to find it really f cute fun book and I think they have like how to catch the Easter bunny things like that so this I think is a series and then for Easter time I purchased God gave us Easter and this has a whole bunch of different books in the series too God gave us you God gave us two God gave us Christmas heaven love the world so a really good Christian book that talks about the meaning of Easter not just about the Easter bunny Laying candy, if you know what I mean. So, really cute book. And we are trying to work on praying more to God. So, I have the Say and Pray devotions. My children's minister at our church was recommending this, so I purchased it. And this is super cute. It's just really easy things they can do. So, it says, like, good morning. I'm ready for a happy day. See me smile. This is the day the Lord has made. Thank you, God, for each new day. Amen. And it's just really cute. It has the different 
little things you can point out with your toddler. So a really good, fun, like starter Christian book for your little ones. Another book I purchased my son was Go Team Go. This is a series actually on Netflix, Go Dog Go, which is similar to like the Dr. Seuss ones. This is one of those step up to reading books. So kind of a step up from board books where they can start learning how to read. So I love to like trace my fingers on the words as I'm reading them. Kind of helps my son learn that way. So this is a series on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. We watched it a whole bunch of times. We have not watched it in a couple of months because we binged it so much, but highly recommend that. Another thing random that I purchased for my son were new t-shirts and he got some PJ Masks short sleeve shirts. I don't know, something with like character shirts for me is just what I like to put my little son in. Some people don't like it and think all this kind of stuff is cheesy, but if it's Disney and something that he loves too, then I'm all for buying it. He, when he was little, was wearing like Pooh Bear and Mickey Mouse all the time. It's just how I like to dress my kids up. Next thing I purchased were wireless kids headphones. If you didn't see my what I got my toddler for Christmas video last year, I got him some kids headphones, but they needed the wire. I definitely found wireless is the way to go, so I will link these down below for you guys interested. In. They have all of the control buttons right there, are like kids volume controlled, that kind of stuff. So. Definitely check this out if you're interested. Another thing is we started swim class, so I have a whole bunch of swim outfits that I had to purchase new size of, but the thing I wanted to talk about most was this. Now this is a Bumpkins wet bag. Highly recommend you always keeping one in your diaper bag or purse wherever you always have your toddler stuff and one in a swim bag. So this is lined, so when you take off their swim clothes or anything wet, muddy, shoes, who knows, just throw it in here, zip it up. What's really nice too about it is it has this button so you can latch it onto your bag, your stroller, what have you, and it won't be messing with anything else. I haven't noticed any wet leakage from it. Now I will say don't put like the whole like wet reusable diaper in there. I'll like squeeze it out, but this is something really great that I love to have even if they have accidents in the car and you just need something for the pee. Now what's really awesome too about this is when I go to wash it, I just open it, dump it inside out, and the bag goes in the cold wash as well. So really easy cleanup, and then you just put it back in your bag for the next time. So the next thing is something I actually put in his Easter basket, but these are super cute if you just have like birthday parties or just random things you wanna do, stocking stuffers. But these are called like pop-ups lollipop. So it came with the set of two. One is currently downstairs, but there was sky and I think we have rubble downstairs. So the lollipop goes inside and then they just can kind of like push this little button up and then they can lick their lollipop that way. Helps with no mess. If anyone's like my son, he doesn't always finish it. Desserts, cookies, lollipop, whatever at one time. So this is really good to kind of save it and it not make a mess and you just put like a wet lollipop on a napkin and then it gets caught on it. You know what I'm talking about. So this is really good because it kind of saves on the lollipop and it's just fun and has characters and stuff on it. Another thing we purchased was, what are these called? Like a bounce ball? A hot ball? I don't know. So there's a couple of different character ones you can get. We of course picked Paw Patrol. This is really fun. They just sit on it, hold on, and hop on it. So really good way to get out their exercise. We actually use ours inside on our hardwood floors right now. You can use this for outside play, but sometimes you want them to have something to burn that energy off inside. And once toys like this go outside, it's kind of hard to want that dirty wetness stuff all in your house again. The next thing is a t-ball glove. So we started a t-ball this year and this is like a little toddler sized glove. Still pretty big for my son, but this is the smallest that they sell. Um, and we still really have to break it in, but this is really cute. Also comes with a ball. So if you are starting T-ball or interested in starting that at home with your little one, this is a nice one for toddlers. And then the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is this. Now this is a nail brush. 
It comes in a set of four. Now, I don't know if your toddlers are like mine, but they love to play in dirt, sand, things like that, and you will see all the like good crusties in there. So this is really great. So when you get water, you just kind of move their nails in like this, and it helps get all of that dirt off that washing your hands may not be able to get. So I highly recommend picking up something like this to help clean your toddler's little fingernails. But that is everything for this toddler haul and everything that I recommend from Amazon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your toddler must-haves are down below. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated with anything more that I pick up from Amazon, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh,